Shereman Bazaar, Valar's Hollow, and Finn's Market. I guess I'll vote for Finn's Market. And of course, while we're getting through the boring stuff, if you're new to the channel, welcome, I'm Mighty. And if you're a returning viewer, I always appreciate it, so make sure to sub so you catch that daily content. What is the Ishtal? It is electric. I've been kind of using that to determine if I want to play Cho or not. Mouse 2? I swapped in the gen last second just so I could make sure Cho gets an eat if I can. If I have Mal's in, there's a chance that Cho doesn't get an eat here. Tear Rod. Ooh, wait a second. Rising Infamy? I haven't gotten to play this at all. And then we see Cho 2 immediately. But I have to put in this. I just want I, I want to try it. All right, we have Bilgewater in. It's a level. Sell the Mal's and then buy Cho 2, put Cho 2 in. I also just have this Nico. I think I'm going to Gunblade blue buff TF here. I might as well. We want to get as many bilge water stacks as we can. So, 61 barrages. Essentially, Rising Infamy gets you treasure chests at the beginning of each one, and then it levels up as you go through the game. We could go RFC or JG. It's probably just take JG this early. Graves Pair. If I lose, I'll sell Nico. If I win, I'm keeping her. Usually, this turns into a gunner line, though. Uh, this is a loss. For sure a loss. But it's only a two unit loss. 49 barrages away from level two. Right now we're basically just getting one gold per turn. But that'll level up as the game goes on. Let's look around. Demacian, Bruiser, 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 Gunner, Multicaster. So this is the one that I have to worry about the most. Good thing I'm planning on going for like an MF carry instead of a TF carry. Just because that seems stronger later. At least for this comp. Two unit loss. Okay, then I hold Tarek. Good pre-level. I'm gonna pre-level. We want a tier here just for a blue buff. If we don't get tier, what are we going? Just like armor? I think that's the play. Ah, he took that. I'm gonna take the rod TF then. We'll take TF pair. Plus I'm gonna want an Ionic Spark later. Graves two. So I could throw in Tarek here, add in Bastion. If we win, we still hit 20. The other option is to buy Talia, throw in Talia over Tarek. I think this is just good as is though. Cho can eat that. Oh, he didn't actually eat it in one shot. All right, we're getting a lot of barrages. The longer the fight lasts, the better. And we might win, we do win. Ooh, that's level two. 30, hit 30 gold. Or no, it wasn't even level two, it was just a random bigger chest. I do kind of want this Jinx. I'm hitting 30 either way though. If I'm hitting 30, I should just leave it at that. This guy's three multicaster. But we're already on the back line, so maybe we win. I think we do win. Yeah, we definitely win. Nautilus, I want that one. We need MF. MF ASAP. I'm gonna sell Cho. Just go ahead and hit 40. Or Rek'Sai, we don't care about. It allows us to hold Jinx, so that's nice. Tier, that's our blue buff. We have blue buff and Ionic Spark, actually. And TF2. I don't need to play one of these, and I think it's supposed to be Nautilus, typically. I'm just debating on if Kai'Sa is better. Because the ones that, I guess it would be like this for now. And then I could slam Ionic Spark here. Oh, he also hit a four cost. He hit a Felios. But we can't kill this Cho. The Anima Visage is too strong. Wait. This is still winnable. If we get an ult off. We have to get an ult off though. Yeah, oh, we didn't get it off in time. Pandora's Bench. Always in. Give me that. Another large chest. Three cost. I can try and roll this into a Nyla. That's probably the right play. I'll just keep trying to roll these into the better units. Because as soon as we hit five village, that's an upgrade. I know I'm playing seven builds this game. Lowey, Graves, Twisted Fate, Nautilus, MF, Nyla, Gangplank. That's our seven. So then we just have to figure out what else we want to play after that. This guy has an RFC built, so he might try and go into Nyla later. We still need... Oh, we are at level two now, so we need 57 barrages or 52 barrages until the next one. Another graves. We get to level now for free. I want to level to seven, roll at seven, and roll for an MF3. I want to play MF carry here. I think everybody has seen enough of Twisted Fate. We have seen enough overall Twisted Fate. Ooh, 69, nice. Also, we need to figure out what we want. Spat for a Bilgewater spat. Actually sounds okay here. I'll take the spat. Because we know if we hit nine Bilgewater, we probably just win the game. We hit double Quinn. How close are we now? 39 more barrages. 
That we just had somebody do the three five level seven as well. We also don't have an Alawi two. Our Alawi's still one starred. Oh, wait. All right, I will take that. So next turn, or after our next fight, we should get to the level three chest. There's our MF and a Nautilus too. And a Nyla. All right, MF, that's our five build. Put this in now. Then we can go Jinx here to add in Gunner. Sell the Taric off. Give the Ionic Spark to Nautilus. It's not his best item, but it's just okay. Buy Jinx pair and just chill. Roll threes still. This fight, definitely closer than I think it should be. And we take a one unit loss there. Did we hit the level three chest? No, because the fight was too fast. Oh, I can level here. I'm going to go ahead and do that. There's our Bilgewater spat. How do we feel about Bilgewater Ari? Or just Ari in general? Like, Ari in general seems pretty good here. I'm trying to think, can I? I can do this and then Bilgewater Ari. Now we're at seven Bilgewater. I still think Aphelios is a better Bilgewater unit. Question is, do I roll? Or do I just go for the fast eight from now? I mean, it's close either way. We're going to kill the Aphelios. Okay, so it's just a Shin versus Ari and Twisted Fate. We should win. More 69. Not Leech. Hedge Fund? Okay, how many times is this game going to do this to me? I think we all know every time I see that I have to take it. With that being the case, I am going to roll. Another TF? No. Jinx 2? I think Jinx 2 is better than Ari as a Bilgewater unit. I am going to try and find Jinx 3. Didn't hit the MF2 in time. There's an Alawi. Uh-oh. That fight was actually very close, even though it didn't look like it. And this is the wind streaker. I'm gonna try and roll while above 50 until we find MF3 here. Infinity Force? I'm gonna go Infinity Force Nyla and just keep it rolling. There's two MFs. Another Nyla. I hit the Nyla two in time. And another Nautilus. I think it's better for me to hold Nautilus than it is for me to hold Twisted Bait. And I need to move these items from Twisted Bait to MF. Yeah, I need to do that now. What do I want? Just a cloak for a stone plate? I think it's just cloak, grab stone plate. I should also just be rolling fours, right? Try and hit Nyla threes. Is anyone else playing Nyla? This guy is? Okay. Oh, we have something that I can't get with one slot. What is this? Four cost and, okay. Another MF. Let's go ahead and remove these items. Put it here. We would have hit the Alawi too. Let's roll fours. There's a Nautilus. Ooh, a Fiora 2 that I can roll. Oh, and we immediately hit a Nyla. All right, we're one off of MF3. We just have to roll until we find it. There it is. Look at those golden guns. She is so gorgeous. Ooh, these barrages are actually dealing some damage too. And we, we just hit our next level chest. Do we win this fight? We should win this fight. There we go. Anyone up here playing it? I don't see anyone up here playing Nyla. I think the only one who was playing Nyla is this guy. And he does have an extra. So if he goes out before me, then I have a very, very good chance of hitting Nyla 3. Cloak is good. Bow. Bow, bow. Okay. I'll take RFC. And we hit another Nyla. All right. Where did, where did the other bow go? Excuse me? Uh, I thought it showed two bows, but apparently not. It's fine. We just hit it anyways. I'm kind of fine with just going RFC QSS. Yeah, we just go RFC QSS and then I'm going to try and level to eight. We'll level to eight and we'll throw in, I don't know. There's, there's several things that I'm like, okay, throwing in. It could be Shin. I feel like like Aatrox or Nasus is better just so we can add in Jug. I'm going to go ahead and level. Let's try and make sure we beat up this guy. Throw in a Shin. 
put Nefelios here. Do we win this fight? Just at seven bilge. This is the triple RFC Mord. Come on, MF. It wasn't good enough from the MF. Oh, wait, we won. Okay, we still did it. No Nyla, we did hit a Shin, though. And a Cloak. So we'll go two to roll. This guy's playing a Felios, so I can never hit a Felios. Somebody else is playing Shin, somebody else is playing Fiora. Yeah, I just need this guy to go out so I can hit Nyla three. If he goes out and I hit Nyla three, I mean, that's obvious, just a game win there. Ooh, we win this fight, okay. Yeah, we win this fight. It was close though, and he's out. That gives us our Nyla three possibility. Give me my Nyla three. Nyla three one time. What am I trying to itemize? I need a third dank item. I want the Bramble. Give me a Bramble. Oh, uh, I guess I could take another blue buff. I could have taken a Gunner Emblem. It was probably just Gunner Emblem. There's, okay, we're one off Nyla. One off Nyla, one off Nautilus. Let's roll for it. Nautilus? Where's she at? There she is. Bang. Nyla three. And I guess now are we going for like Shin 3? Oh yeah, this game's a win. Let's look at what the other guys are playing. He's going for a Felios 3. This guy's going for Mord 3. He was holding a Nyla on me, what a rat. This guy's going for Shin 3. Or no, he's not. Okay, so it's just Mord 3 possibly, a Felios 3 possibly. He's also holding Shins though. Maybe that means I just roll for Nasus here. I think I'm supposed to roll for Nasus 3. I gotta see how much damage she is doing. This is wild. Only 3,700. The cannon's actually still doing the most. Yeah, we're gonna go for a Nasus 3. We're gonna reroll this and then take my Nasus. That's our other option. Because we're not gonna be able to hit a Shen 3. But we can hit a Nasus 3. And that's how we do it. That is definitely the start. Vow. I'm just gonna put a Val on Nautilus. Aatrox? No. We wanna hold the pairs if we can. Ooh, another Nasus? Well, we're definitely knocking this guy out now. Can we hit more Nasus? Oh, I had a three rolling. Come on. There's an Azir two to roll. There's a GP. GP is definitely better than Twisted Fate. And we just keep rolling, I guess. Kaisa 2 to roll. Sichuani 2 to roll. This guy's going for Silco now as well. Silco and Abelios. He has to hit one of them in order to beat me. If he doesn't hit one, then he just loses to me eventually. There's a Silco that I just randomly hit. I mean, I'm gonna keep rolling. Azir 2. I, I don't need to be holding all of these, I don't think. Just because I'm not going to rat, but I'm also not going to help this guy. I wish we had hit more components. Like, I know this used to be a lot more broken than what it is with the Rising Infamy. Rising Infamy definitely was a lot more broken before. Did he hit? Nah, he's still almost at Silco, almost at Avelios. I want him to hit. Let's have a duel. He didn't get bailed out here. Edge of Night. Another Allowy. Oh, double Mord. What if we just randomly hit the Mord 3? I want this Nasus. Or one off. Just give me the Nasus. Oh, he didn't hit yet. There's a Fiora too I can roll. I guess it's an Azir 2 I can roll as well. There were two Mords off. How are we two mords off just randomly? All right, well, we hit a mord three. Uh, I guess we're doing that now too. That's kind of funny. Oh, he hit a Felios. I guess I should put this in. We have mord three randomly in. There's our Nasus. So now we have Nasus three as well. Who could we hit after that? I don't know who we could hit after. Don't kill him. Yeah, now we have Nasus 3 in too. We're just going for all of them. 
We're going for all of them. We'll put the Ionic Spark there. Now we go for Sejuani, because why not? There's one. All right, so now we're we're almost at Sejuani three. Oh, we run off Sejuani. Give me Sejuani. We have Sejuani three. What is this? What the hell? We hit Sejuani three, Dyla three, Nasus three, and Dyla. How is this a thing? There's no reason this should ever be a thing. This game was incredible though. I wonder who's actually dealing the most. It's still Nyla. If you enjoyed watching the video, make sure to let me know down below.